we are talking about the similarities between Lord Ganesha's symbolic form and being coachable. Now, the elephant god loves sweets. There's a sweet called Modak. And and the story is that he eats up a lot of them and he has a big belly. The devotees also come to Lord Ganesha to share their pains and sorrows. And the Lord God is, is the one who listens, who absorbs all the pain and sorrows in his big belly, and then blesses the devotees, gives them the wisdom, gives, gives them the courage to move forward. Marshall, what parallel would you draw from our coaching world on this aspect of Lord Ganesha? Well, you know, I, I think about some of the great leaders we've had the privilege of coaching. And we mentioned my friend Al Malal. He went to Ford under incredibly difficult circumstances and was able to take that pain, those problems, and look at them as opportunities and just turn the situation around. Uh, another person is Hubert Jolie, former CEO of Best Buy, who faced a terrible situation and turned it around. My greatest example is Francis Hasselbein, former leader of the Girl Scouts. And the organization was doing terribly, and she went in and called tradition with the future. She never put down the past. She never made others feel bad. She basically took the pain in the situation and turned it around. So I think that's a great example. And for everyone listening, it's a great example for all of us. The past is the past, and we can't dwell in it. On the other hand, you can't deny problems. So I like that concept of tradition with the future, which is taking the pain that exists not putting down the past at all, yet realizing we need to move forward into a positive and productive future. Beautiful. What a beautiful story of Frances and the impact she had on the world. 